All right. I am with Jack A. Harry and James Reynolds at Day of Days 2022. So great to see you both. It's been a minute. Yes. Been a minute. So, Jack A., you've been out there with the fans today. What are they saying to you the most? We want what? We want more Paulina <laughs> and Abe. That's what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. They want Paulina. Yeah, which is great. It's gratifying, but I don't, uh, I don't take it for granted. You know, and I try to do my best. It sounds so corny, but I try to do what the character would do. You know, I don't try to do Jack A. Everybody thinks so. It's so easy. All she's doing is being herself. No, uh, Paulina is definitely different from me, and it's been a challenge for me because uh, I haven't done a soap since 1980. Oh, you remember, see? Oh, look at you. Go ahead now. So I had to readjust. You know, and, uh, but we you know. talked, we, you and I talked on the red carpet at the Emmys a couple years ago, and mm -hmm. you were saying it was, the character was kind of built around your strengths, but it's very different from you. Yes, very different from me. I'm, she's more conservative than I am. She, uh, she'll kick butt like I will. You know, she'll, uh, ha you can't say nothing about her man, you can't say nothing about her cheering, that's good. But the difference is, you know, I I'll cut you the chase a little bit quicker than Paul Lena. Yeah, you want to start some stuff. <laughs> You see how I dodge that? See how yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Start nothing, won't be nothing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, I tell you like a T.I. is, not like it was. You know, like that. Yeah, Jack is a little more direct <laughs> than Paulina. What is, so for you, James, yeah. what has it been like since you've been on the show for so many years having to work with Jack? A, a revelation. Yeah. It's been a revelation. I do. I do adore her. I do. I do adore her. You know, it just, I just, I do, it's just, it's one of those things sometimes when, uh, back in the day, when you used to walk in the room and see somebody across the room, you thought, eh, I think I'm going to get to know this person. That's, that's that feeling. That's that feeling. That is he swoons. He swoons. His heart is Just such a joy to be every day. <laughs> Have you known James's work on the show? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. And I love him. I adore him. I respect him. But he didn't have to like me. He didn't have to love me. But we did. But sometimes you do have to because it is. Oh, right. You, you just can't so stop close. yourself. Well, not just that. You know, We've all worked with people that we weren't. Yeah. yeah. How many women? Yeah. There have been a few. There have been a few. But it was it was instant. It was instant. We did, we did some, you know, we had this connection from the beginning. It was instant. Deja, not deja vu. Kismet, kismet. I don't know about no kismet. Kismet, yep. I know you said kismet. Kismet. I had just. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw. So I posted during the 57th anniversary, which you guys just had your 57th. I posted a minute clip from the daytime Emmy tribute I did for days for the 50th because I produced right. it, and there was the scene where Lexi dies, and he was so. It was Renee and you. It was so memorable and so gut wrenching. Um, I don't know if you ever saw that. No, he told me the whole story yeah, yeah, off oh, the camera too. Oh, oh you are scandalous! Oh, what a but it was a beautiful. It was so great. Oh, thank you very much. I yeah. Don't well, know what happened with that? It's so that's well, one of the deepest. She died. Yeah. She died. I know, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Stefano, yeah. her father. Died. Her father poisoned. I it was but you know, true. it was a special moment. It was just a special Didn't moment. Well, there's yeah, because I'm losing this person that's been. I mean, I am. Jim is losing with somebody that was in Port Nail for 20 years. And Abe is losing his wife. The love of his life, his wife, the mother of his, his children, one of his children. There's several mothers. There's so there. many children of Abe <laughs> that came, <laughs> that came out of the woodwork <laughs> over Nick the Cannon. years. No, I think He's the Nick, Nick Cannon. Cannon. The Nick Cannon of Days of Our Lives is Abe. <laughs> Abe, never, Abe never asked that key question. Abe never asked that key question. Do you have protection? <laughs> He's, yeah, Did he's, I father he's, your child? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's, well, there's a lot of Abe Carver kids. Oh. Yeah. Well, especially since he never raises them. You know, he never waits. He waits until they're grown. And he's like, "You're my child." Yeah. So all the hard work's all done. All the hard work's done. <laughs> it's all done. They're yeah. All grown now. Yeah. Now it was really interesting on the Emmys because it was the first black actress to win a supporting actress in 35, in 35 years since you won for 227. What did you think about that moment? And you were the first. Yes. It was uh, something I, I, I didn't, couldn't prepare for, but I knew it would be either she or the other young lady that's on the show with her, Janelle James, who I did not know. I knew it was going to be one of the two. So I was happy for her. I mean, cause she's been, 
I didn't know she wanted it that much. Cheryl Lee? Yes. And I've seen her. You know since. Cheryl Lee? Yes, of course. Back from New York, oh please. We're talking oh. about Cheryl Lee Ralph. Oh, she won the Emmy, and so I was happy for her, but I didn't know she wanted it that badly. And that sounds crazy, because when I won, I wasn't expecting to win, all of that, blah, blah, blah. But I had a ball. It was the 80s. You know, it was a different time. But she's getting her flowers, and that's what it's about. I just yeah. couldn't believe it was 35 years, and there was no other think about it. black yeah. actor. It seems yeah. just ridiculous. Like, I can't it's even. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I know, but I didn't think about it, to yeah. be honest. No, it's called a social consciousness. But she also has social media, so everybody can reverb it. But you know what I realized is if they write it, I always say it, it will happen. And they wrote her part. And thank God, you know, but we just got to get keep getting more and more and more and to save uh, save our, our, you know, our different actors, not just women or women of color is what I'm trying to say, but people so you can be funny and, you know, it can be equitable because I didn't know that she felt like, oh, God, I finally won and I got something for me. I didn't know that. So that's what she's trying to say. Right. She said the mic has been unmuted and now she can speak on her various platforms. Right. So I'm happy for her. And you won lead actor. There had been Al Freeman Jr. and Darnell Williams, right? And uh, you? Well, of, of color. Of color. I, I mentioned that yeah, that night in my speech, uh, Darnell Williams and um, Al Freeman and also A. Martinez. Uh, so the three men of color, two black and, and one Latino. And um, yeah, and uh, A won in the early 90s. So 30 years since anybody of color had won that particular award. And only the second time an actor from Days, Matt Carey, won, won it. And that's only the second time that somebody... Are you proud of the fact that you, you have to be? Very, very proud of that. that <laughs> Jim, Jim was... <laughs> no social media. I mean, yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 No, I'm very proud of that. Very proud of that. You know, it, well, for a lot of reasons. But that, that collection, that little collection of actors that I've joined, wonderful actors. Yeah political storyline that's been going on on the show. What did you think about being, like, they both run for mayor, and then there's trouble, and then the daughter, your daughter's arrested. Don't get me in trouble, but let me tell you, I feel like I could be president. My, I'm, my confidence in my character is way up there. And I never felt that way, but she's a very strong lady, but she's got a man, which helps. And by that, I mean... She won political power? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. But she definitely... Could we have Paulina run for president? I think we should, don't you? I think she'd be marvelous, you know, but she got a pass. She got a little dirt. Thank God. You got to you gotta have dirt on the soap. But but I like having a husband on the soap. I must say, it, it, who I can run to, who can help me with my problems. I really, it's very comforting. And, you know, he's very comforting. Right. You bowed out of the political race, right? Abe bowed out to let her well, have the... She, she came in through the polls. Obviously, the public, sad to say, in real life, sometimes this is true, too, was not concerned. <laughs> they don't care about Joe. Not so what about her? About Paulina's past. So yeah, Abe, you know, Abe's going to support his woman. That's a, that's the bottom. That's who he is. That's who he is. Yeah, exactly. All right. So they're wrapping me up. I'm leaving you with the Nick Cannon of, of daytime. <laughs> I'm still about five short of Nick. He's five He's short children five of Nick. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Thank you, Jack A. Great to see you, Jim. Make sure to watch them both on Days of Our Lives streaming on Peacock.